A group hoping to build a soccer complex at Union Gap's Satanum Youth Park is facing delays. Crystal Bowie tells us what's causing the hold up and if the project will be a good investment for the city. A design and dream has been in the works for over a year. These are the soccer fields. A plan proposed bringing a 16 field soccer complex to Union Gap. Because the proposal also includes an indoor facility at Autenum Youth Park, the state needs to approve the plans, which has caused a delay. There's a blow up of the building itself. Now, if the idea sounds familiar, it's because a similar concept is developing in Yakima. Construction starts on the Sozo Soccer Sports Complex next month. Though the project hasn't been approved, the Union Gap Complex may cost over $10 million. Do you feel like that's a good way to spend money? Is the complex in Yakima going to deter some of the visitors that might go to Union Gap? No. Uh, that's a fairly complicated question, and, and part of that I can't answer. Union Gap Mayor Roger Wentz says they're waiting to hear back from the state, though he does see a possible conflict with the Yakima facility being built nearby. But for John well, Hodkinson, Union he Gap doesn't believe it'll be a problem. The decision made about whether a building can be built for whatever the purpose is, is a long-range decision that affects everyone all parks that have state money in them, that's going to affect. So this is this is a big deal. At full capacity, the complex could attract eight to ten thousand visitors a weekend. That's if it's being used. That's the purpose of all of this in both projects is to do something for the kids. Hoping others will agree. Reporting in Union Gap, Crystal Bowie, Action News. And we also spoke to a grants manager for the state's Recreation and Conservation Office. She says because of possible maintenance costs in the project, the state is still investigating the proposal. They'll work with the National Park Service to see if the project would be compliant with federal funding sources.